It's the fourth game of the regular season for Bulldozer Power and we're taking on the 3-0 Lingo Blend All-Stars who are currently leading the division. Uh, Dave Caustic, their third baseman, is, uh, is in a positive mood, which can only mean trouble. Pitching for us today is Ominous Bob, and that can only mean trouble. Ominous Bob is a bad pitcher. So we're going to need the, uh, the fielders to dig deep in order to try and stop this one from, from being a blowout. We need Bob to, to do, ideally, a minimum of three, uh, three innings, possibly more. But, uh, well, let's see how he gets on. Uh, there's the first pitch. That one's gone out to Caps Lock, who will throw it first. Doesn't quite get there in time. A nice hit there by Caustic. No wonder he's in a good mood. Here's Christopher Biscuits, uh, the shortstop. He's only batting 167 so far this season, but he does have a home run to his name. Oh, lucky, lucky him. And the throw to second. Crampons can't quite make the tag there. Which is a shame. That was a really nice pitch and a good throw there. Steve Morey back in the lineup this week. Uh, hardware has been sat back down again, as, as well he should be. Strike two. Some nice pitching from Bob, uh, it has to be said, but he's, he's just not got much zing on anything. Mullo there. This is probably going to lock in our first run of the day. And it's off target. Uh, a run given up there and a double. Well, his uh, chief auto parts, he's... Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I, honestly, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I mean, Bob's just going to keep sticking them in there. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to hope that they, they do some optimistic popping up of the ball that we then field. Uh, that's, I think that's the only way we're going to get them out. Uh, one to nothing to score. One out. Here's Justine Vanderpol, runner on second currently. And, uh, well, yeah, we go. We'll, we'll, no, no, no that's, that's not it. You're anticipating that already, are you? Well, I have done it three times in a row, I suppose. So I suppose, uh, and I mean, I, I guess that counts. Uh, yeah, let's try, let's try one over here. I mean, it's, there's some decent pitches coming in from Bob, but he's not going to be challenging anyone particularly. Caps lock. Can't make the grab. He has to recover, and that's given up bases. Runners at the corners, flapjack, nope. Is uh, is up to bat. We're we're just going to we're going to need a a big day offensively. I can feel it already. Um, Bob doing damage here just in the just in the first inning. Uh, Cindy's going to get to that one. Thank you. That's uh, out number two. Here's uh, Michael Poems, uh, second baseman. He's a stealing specialist. Oh, what a what a special guy. Yeah, yeah, well done. Misdemeanors are his thing. Yeah. Really? You think Steve is a mister? It is. It's a misdemeanor. Strike two. Very nice. Bob on target. These, I mean, the only thing he does have going for him is his accuracy. Uh, his, his junk pitch is really full. Nobody. That's a good hit. And a dive there from Muller. It was worth doing even though it failed. And uh, it, <laughs> they're going again. And that's four runs, three runs, three runs now. Oh, dearie me. Uh, Jenny J. Sonar, the centre fielder up next. 500, but her batting average so far this year. We've got a runner on second, two outs. And uh, Kojak can't make it. And that's going to be another run and another double. These, uh, that's a triple, not a double, beg your pardon. Oh, goodness me. How long are you going to put, him up, put up with him? Number well, I've, I've got a. I, I mean, he's, he's he's already tense. His accuracy is off. Oh no! Yeah, I know. We possibly give up another run, um, and then we we probably get another out before that happens, unless this guy dings it over the fence. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to have to hit our relievers sooner rather than later. Yeah, just keep sticking them in, Bob. It's not your fault, you rubbish. Mr. On, can't make it. No. All right. All right, that's uh, five runs now to the All-Stars. And uh, in one inning, everything's gone to hell. Here's the pitcher. We might get her out. Okay. Then again, we might not. When the pitcher hits a double, you know that maybe, just maybe, you don't have the right personnel on the mound. I can't take him out yet. Round to the top of the order again here in the first inning. I've 
I've not seen a spectacle like this since the early days of... Oh, what are you doing? There I go. Gave up a base. Yeah. Steve Mori there can't quite keep hold of it. You know, I was thinking of bringing in Des Eyeliner for this, but his stamina wasn't 100%, and I went, no, look, this is a strong team, and therefore, it's it's quite possible we're going to lose anyway. And, there, and therefore... What? Oh, for crying out loud. Are you throwing underarm, Bob? What exactly is your major malfunction? And, uh, I'll tell you what, I, I, want to, I want him to round out this inning, if possible. Come on, Zoltan, get to it. No, that's, that's another double. We're going to let him run up the score. We've lost this game. You can probably stop watching now. I'll be honest with you, I can't see a comeback being possible. We haven't scored nine runs yet this season. And based on everything, he's rattled, his junk pitch has gone to pot. His... All, all we need is for the next hit to not be quite so spectacular and then... And then we can then we can get them out. But Bob, you're never playing again. This is your last game. No, I'm not joking. I'm genuinely not joking. There we go. That's what we wanted. Failure there, calling for that one. And finally, mercifully, it's all over. Nine to nothing at the end of the first at bat for the Lingo Blend All Stars. Well, those of you wondering what uh, what happens if you put it in a bad picture. Now you know. His Cindy vapid, and it will be Nora Incapable who will be uh, pitching for the All Stars. Uh, one on one is the count. Yeah, and uh, Incapable, not a bad pitcher on paper. Uh, two and two now. Cindy with a nice hit, but it's not going to be good enough, and she's out. Yeah. Here's Mars Mullo. Still waiting for a show from Mars Mullo. That's better. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Out number two. Tell you what, look, if we can't if we've got no chance of pulling this back, get it over with. Let's let's just not let's not hang around. Let's just get let's where's the concede button? We can move straight on to week four. Oh, gently does it there. Picture there, aiming directly at failure, who uh, who slaps it gently over to the second baseman and is out. Okay, good. No, no, no. If we can't, if we're not going to win, uh, why even bother? Right, here's uh, Flapjack Nope, one of the few people to not get a hit and a run batted in in the first inning. Uh, meanwhile, Bob, you are sacked. The Conservatives coming in. He's at maximum stamina. We're going to need a good four or five innings from him here. Uh, Ideally, with some of the pitches being any flaming good, the, the bad news, of course, is that we'll have uh, instilled a very high level of confidence into this uh, offensive team. And as such, uh, we, we may struggle. I know, as much as we have been already. His poems, he's got a double with two runs batted in from his first at bat. Well, what a, what a guy. Yeah, there you go. See how you like it. Yeah, yeah, very good. I mean, it helped if that would have been in the strike zone. Crampons, not even close. Yeah, we can't, we can't let them keep running up the hits. Well, they're going to. Look, Jenny J Sonar's mojo is locked in, right? That means she is extraordinarily confident, and therefore has a has a boost to her already not inconsiderable statistical prowess. The strike two. Come on, Jeff. Go on, put him away, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, put her away. Put it, put it away. Jeffrey, put away. There it is. Conservative pulls one back with a strikeout. We've got to, we've got to sink their mood, and the only way we're going to do that is by striking a few of them out. And uh, that's that's important. That one, Maury's underneath it. Out number two. There you go. That's the stuff. Here's the pitcher. You could kill him. No, 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 no. If I was going to kill him, I'd have used Bob. You should have used Bob. It's what you should have done with Bob. He was already completely rubbish. You could have, you could have nobbled their pitcher. Oh, never mind. It's okay. No, you weren't to, you weren't to think that far ahead. I was. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you made a mess of that, didn't you? You had the opportunity there to actually make some use of your worthless pitcher. 
Okay, two strikeouts there for Jeff Conservative. That's more like it. No more runs conceded. Here's Ruby Caps, uh, Rudy, beg your pardon, Caps Lock, uh, who batted uh, a third in the last game. He swings at the first one, which was a little bit on the high side. And that's in the crowds. That's the stuff. Caps Lock there with a nice hit. Uh, he's going for a double on this one. And uh, he'll have it. And that's more like it. Bulldozer Power finally getting a hit here in the second inning. Here's Zoltan batting 400 with a one home run so far this year. He leaves that one well alone. But it was, uh, it was in the strike zone. Ball two. Come on, Zoltan. Everyone believes. And they're right to do so. Zoltan with some numbers. It's out. Get back. Oh, oh no, you've still... Oh, no, okay, he's out as well. All right, fine. I, I was fairly certain that was coming off the fence. I was being competitive. I was trying to get back in the flaming game. Yeah, well, that, that went well, didn't it? Yeah, here's Steve Morrow. Yeah, oh, whatever. Yeah. Strike one, ball two. Two outs here, bottom of the second. Ball three. Steve gets a hit. What a way to go, Steve. I t I'll take hits, even though that's going to be largely inconsequential because uh, it, it always boosts their confidence. Speaking of which, here's the uh, .091 batting average, Bernie Crampons. Bernie, a base hit. That's all you need. One base hit, Bernie. Just that. That's all you want. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, he might have made it. No, he didn't. All right. Okay. Out number three. Bulldozer Power going back to uh, their dugout. And here's Dave Caustic. He's had two at-bats and got singles off both of them. Uh, arguably the star player on the batting team. Uh, he is locked in, as you would expect. He's having a great game so far. Crampons, can he get to it? What do you think? And that'll be a single. Well, I mean, look, if, if their star player is able to, to, you know, play well, I mean, you know, you can't expect miracles. Uh, who are we looking at here? This is Christopher Biscuit. And uh, Jeff's going to try and work his Jeffrey magic here. Uh, a few more strikeouts from, from uh, Jeff, the conservative conservative. And, uh, and we'll be in business. All right, I think he might buy it on a change-up, you know. All right, well, good luck. That's promising. Well, he bit on it, but it just went foul. All right, try the, uh, try the interior fastball, one of my favourite pitches. That's going to sail wide. Uh, strike two, no ball so far. Jeff is on target, but, uh, but has, has yet to uh, make much headway here. All right, try him on the change-up again. I don't think he's going to look. I don't think he's... There it is. <laughs> Third strikeout of the day for the Conservative there. That's nice to see. His Chief Otto parts. Uh, he's uh, no 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 start, start him on the fastball right, there we go strike one beautiful pitch there from Jeff high inside very nice let's strike two right try him on the change up as well no you'll see it coming alright put in another curve and yeah that one's gone high and upwards Mullo likes it Mullo has it out number two Okay, well, the change in, change in pitching personnel has, has made a bit of a difference. Here's Justine Vanderpol. We still trail by nine, but hey, you know, we're starting to play like a team now. We could use this as some kind of uh, a practice exhibition type format type business. Cindy! Oh, very close, but that's been put into an absolute demon of a location. And they're probably going to go for another run. Yep, there it is. 10, the score now for the All-Stars. Here's Flapjack Nope. And uh, it's it's a bad day here for Bulldozer Power. The only good news is that we're away from home. And therefore, not 100% of our fans will be seeing this. Cindy can't get to it. That's going to be another run. Why don't you try moving your... Well, you know, I've never tried it before. We're already down by 11. Yeah, give it a go. There's a button labelled Strategy, which is... Here we go, Strategize. Good, yeah, that's my... That's my... Oh, hold on. Wait, what are we doing? 
Okay, shallow or deep. Yeah, infield, normal or halfway. Oh, okay, well, let's try halfway. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay. I don't see how this is going to make a massive amount of difference, but hey, whatever. You know, strat we're strategizing here in the third inning because that'll help. Well, it's not going to make anything any worse, is it? We already trail by 11. Uh, Jeff's calling for that one, and he has it. And uh, that's the side retired. Uh, but another two runs batted in there. Meanwhile, we need to see some signs of life from our uh, our own batters here. And uh, what better way to start off than by wait for Kojak to decide that now is the time. And she has done. Got a base hit. It's not a double, though, is it? No, it's not a double, but it's a base hit, and that counts too. Here's Jeff. Jeff, take your time, mate. Soak up some pitches, man. All right? If you get a single off this, it'd be great, but no pressure on you to do so. Quite happy for you to just stand there and strike out. Oh, that was the one. Yeah, it really was. Um, right. So is that one. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Jeff, that was the one thing we really didn't want you to do. Oh well, a double play there, and uh, Bulldoze Power now with two outs are looking at Cindy Vapid to accomplish something. They may be looking for some time. And Cindy, Va Cindy is a, uh, a reliable base hitter, but that's about all she is when it comes to uh, batting prowess. All she really needs to be, to be honest. Uh, there you go, see, she got on base. Super. Now we just need someone to hit it over the fence and we can cut the leads to nine. Here's Mars Mullo. He's had one at bat today and got nothing from it. Uh, is he going to do any better here? Well, uh, we'll see. Two outs, ball one. Uh, there's ball two. Yes. Uh, yeah, he's in. He's in no hurry. Thirty odd pitches from Nora so far. There's strike two. That is not a strike. That was high. That oh, flipping it. And Mars Mullo strikes out. Round to the fourth inning now. Jenny J. Sonar is up. She's had a triple with one run batted in from her two at-bats in the game so far. Jeff there with a very nice inside fastball. Come on, Jeffrey. We love your work, man. We love it. This is uh, this is why everybody loves Jeff can say, Oh, suck it. Eat that. Yeah, uh, see, if we can, see if we can sucker him on something else as well. There you go. Is the change up? No. All right. Well, she she got completely foxed by the. Uh, no, never mind. All right, keep keep it coming, Jeff. It should. One of these will work. Try this. All right, that's wild. Uh, she no, she anticipated that. Well, she's seen all of them by now. He's only got three pitches. Oh yeah, I knew I knew you were going to throw that. Well, what else do you think I was going to throw? Straight down the middle. There we go. That's gone to Kojak, and after a lot of faffing around there, we managed to get her out eventually. Uh, here is uh, Perry Rage Quit, who hasn't had a name check today, so you can consider that t box checked. Uh, hello, Perry. He's hit that foul. Jeff, if you could encourage him to not hit quite as many foul, that would be great. It's just using up your energy. And Perry with a big hit. It's over the fence. Well, it has to be said, we are... Um, nothing. No, that's all right. No, you carry on. No, yes, yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't need any of this. Let's just get through the game. Yeah. Jeff's uh, Jeff's uh, confidence is now starting to flag a little bit. Oh come on, Jeff! You've struck three of them out. Don't give up, man. Don't give up. There's still there's still light in the tunnel. Cindy, beautiful take there by Cindy Vapid. Uh, uh, we finally manage a piece of fielding that's actually worthy of note. Um, but it's <laughs> it's not going to change the overall outcome of the game, though, is it? No, it's not going to change the overall outcome of the game. No, it's not. Inside. Ball one. Hey, great. All right, this is uh, Dave Caustic, who has made mincemeat of us so far today. And uh, Jeff goes, not this time you don't. Get off my field. Well, your field, because we're away. So it's an, it's an away game. Well, another run conceded there, and it's now 12 to nothing in favour of the All-Stars, uh, as Ulysses' failure is going to try and break through here. Uh, a, bit of, uh, a bit of death to pitcher wouldn't hurt. I mean, it might, you know, give us... Never mind. 
uh, give us some bit of consolation here as, as failure slaps one very gently towards the infield and is run out to first. Here's Rudy Capslock. Well, Rude, what's it going to be, man? What's it going to be? Rudy Matt uh, is in, of course, for Jack Mercury, who's uh, who's still carrying a, a slightly fatigued sense of self and, uh, and therefore is not joining us today. I took the decision to let him rest up so that we could have him back at full fitness at some point in the future. Uh, ball three, two strikes, and he's out. Yeah. Sure as eggs is eggs, and bulldozer of power choke to death. Here's Zoltan. He got nothing from his first at bat. I know here we are in the fourth inning, and we're only getting through the order for the second time now. Yeah. Whereas they're on their, you know, third, fourth at bat, on the other side, he's out. It's okay, it's fine. Nothing unusual happened there. Uh, it's Christopher Biscuits. Uh, Jeff has used up half his fatigue. He's on 50 pitches for the day so far. And this is mostly because they keep hitting fouls. And also, also, because uh, they're not swinging at the first pitch. Uh, they're doing what I used to do. What, wearing down the pitcher? They're wearing out down the pitcher. Okay. Jeff, you should be braced for uh, for, a, uh, for a sit back in the bench. On the bench. Near the bench. Crampons. To first. Out number two. All right. That's solid. Uh, this will leave us Justine Van der Poel. Two or three for her today so far, including a home run. Oh, no. She's had a home run this season. She didn't hit us for a home run. No. Although I wouldn't put it past her. I mean, everybody, everybody's had a go today. Everybody's running up their stats, distorting the, uh, the statistical leaderboard in the in league. And, uh, you know, it shouldn't be allowed. But it is allowed. Yeah. Okay, all right, here we go. Cindy's made a move for it. Yeah, she's got it. Out number three. Well done, everybody. A clean inning. Amaz amazing scenes. Uh, next up to bat is Steve Morrie. One of the few bright sparks on the team today with one of one from his at-bats. I know. Drink it in. Uh, strike one. 47 pitches for Nora and Capable so far. And she's still got two-thirds of the stamina remaining. Ball two. Strike one. There's ball three. Steve, just hang in there, man. Strike two, although I felt that was a little high. Steve possibly didn't need to swing at that because he's out. But we don't, we don't like giving up strikeouts. Here's Bernie Crampons. He's tense. Uh, and uh, his batting average is now .083. And it's about to get worse. Yep. There he goes. Here's Kojak Mister on. And it would be super if Kojak were to get a base hit because then I can sub out Jeff for a batter. Not that it really makes much of a difference. Jeff's done for the day, so, uh, you know, that's, uh, it would be nice to try and get, you know, something out of this, you know. Strike two. Kojak is uh, standing at ground, and uh, that one felt low. Yeah, they're just, they're just playing you, man. They're playing you. They know, they know how to beat you. <sighs> Jeff, have you got another inning in you? Yeah, of course he has. All right, sixth inning. Jeff Conservative staying in. I can't, I can't open my next round of batting with a, with a pitcher. That would just be a disaster. Not as much of a, as a disaster as if we start letting them run up the score here. What, more than it is already? Yeah, more than it is already. I remember back in the early seasons, we would score 20-some-odd runs once in a while. Yes, but that was in the day when you were still ramping the uh, difficulty up to a level that made for, for games that were compelling viewing. Like this one, yeah. Double play, double play. You see that from Cindy, you see that? She threw it backwards to crampons. Oh, that was very nice. Uh, very, very nice piece of fielding. Uh, Jeff hanging in there, one out. Now, runner at first. And uh, it's uh, Jenny J Sonar at the plate. Uh, Mr. On goes for it, can't get to it. Failure runs in the wrong direction and we're going to give up some moves here. Yep, yep, that's a triple. Because Failure ran in, the, ran in the wrong direction. Wrong direction he ran in. Yeah, he didn't run towards the ball. He kind of ran in a circuitous, uh, off the beaten path kind of direction. Failure. No. All right, well, it's Fielding's top weasel and that's a terrible throw. 
Do you think maybe the team's on tilt? Oh, oh, the team is most definitely on tilt. Are they going to take her out? You know, Nora Incapable, their pitcher, yeah. is only a C-plus pitcher. What does that mean? Well, that means that, strictly speaking, we should be lighting her up like a Christmas tree. She should be in, you know, just being destroyed by our batters. You know what she isn't? Being destroyed by our batters. And that's three balls in a row from Conservative. Uh, just get her out. Take it easy. There you go. All right, out number two. Uh, runner on third is Dave Flaming Caustic. All right, Jeff, just get this dude out, right? And then you can go sit down, all right? Cindy, missed it. If she'd have stood there, she'd have had it. She didn't stand there, so she missed it. Got clever. Tried to jump for it. Thought it was going to uh, higher than it actually was. Jumps away from the ball. Well, if there's something that can go wrong, it has gone wrong. Uh, the entire day has, uh, has really been a total washout. We'd like to thank the people for sticking with us this far. Um, if you continue to stick with us, I promise that it won't get any better. Jeff, just finish them. Come on, Jeff. Caps lock. Finally! Right, put them away. Now the three runs conceded. It's, it's something of a, a banner day for the Lingo Blend All-Stars. Jeff, sit down. Right, who do we want? Pfft. Uh, Jimmy Magic, please. I want, uh, I want Captain, oh my gosh, what an amazing ball player. Okay, I'm not entirely sure we've got one of those. Bring on the hammock. All right, Veronica Hammock, everybody. And uh, coming up on 60 pitches for Nora Incapable. And uh, because uh, her confidence is so high, uh, she's still got a lot of, lot of stamina remaining. But that is a base hit. Yep. Tweet it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we should celebrate that. Bulldozer had power, get a base hit. Amazing scenes. Here's Cindy. All right, well, based on the batting order we got coming up and the uh, the energy of this pitcher, forget I said anything. Just just forget I spoke. It wasn't worth my time. Out number one. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Mars Mullo. He's been bad today. Strike one. Yeah, bad. He's been a bad player. Uh, signed in the off-season... Uh, everything about Mars Mullo so far has just been, why did you waste that particular draft pick on uh, on a player who is clearly useless? Speaking of which, here's Ulysses Failure, uh, who uh, I think if uh, one were to, uh, to work anagrammatically, could make the word useless there as well. Ball two. All right, Failure's waiting for his moment. He didn't think that was it. Strike one, ball two. Failure! Zings one up to centre field. We're not going to get greedy. We have one out, and the bases are loaded. And here comes Rudy Capslock. Now, you might think, well, Rudy Capslock, he's a big nothing. You kind of go, yeah, but he's had a double today, which is better than I hear. Speaking of doubles, double play! Didn't wait, threw it away. Perfect, perfect. Here's Mark Disneyland, who's coming in to replace Jeff Conservative. Chief Otto parts up now. He's had four at bats so far today. I know we're only in the seventh inning, um, and he's only had one hit. Well, that's something to be to be pleased with. Uh, yeah, I think when it comes to being pleased with things, you're not allowed to use that word with regard to our performance today. Caps lock, wrong button. Team are all over the place. Ah, nothing surprises me now. No, I just nothing. This is the uh, this is the kind of shambolic performance that we don't expect. And then when it happens, we kind of go, oh yeah, yeah. This was always this was always inevitable. This was always going to happen. Today of all days, on this banner occasion, this was what was going to happen. Mark Disneyland there with a strikeout. Beautiful work. Happy scenes. Uh, here's uh, Flapjack Nope. Nope. Just Nope. Yeah. No. Flapjack. Ball one. That's nice. Mark Disneyland. He's, uh, he's okay so far. Strike one. All right. Come on, Mark. Strike two. Lovely, 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 lovely. See if you can sucker him on this. 
Not so much. No. Okay. And that'll be a base hit. Runners now first and second. Two. Uh, no, 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 no. That was two strikes. Only one out. And uh, here's Michael Poems. Uh, he's two of four. And feeling pretty happy with his life. Well, one. Off target. As is quite a lot of these pitches. Ah, as are quite a lot of these pitches. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I, I changed my vernacular as I was going through the sentence. Sometimes you, you grammar one way and then you end up with a sentence structure that wasn't intending that grammar usage thereof. Caps lock. Put them away. Out number two. Could have got a double play off that, Capo. Just saying. Uh, here's Jenny J. Sonar. She's only had two hits today, but they were both triples. We've got uh, runners on second and third. Two outs. Here we go. Ball one. Yeah. A lot of a lot of business here to go. And uh, that one's gone foul. All right. What's that? Strike one. Ball one. Very nice from Mark Disneyland there. Inside. Tight inside. Uh, that's uh, the change up accomplishes very little. That one's probably going to be caught, but nothing would surprise me. That's out number three, and the side is retired. No further damage done. Not that they need to be causing any further damage, you understand? Um, here's Zoltan Zoltan. And uh, I don't know if you can make it out. You possibly can. But it is absolutely heaving it down with rain outside. The commentary box. This rather gives away, of course, the fact that I'm not actually sat at the field where the uh, game is taking place. I'm getting this live on the Electrosport satellite. And, uh, and that's about the only thing that's live about Bulldozer Power today. Can't crampons, knock it over the fence, mate, because nothing would surprise me. There we go. No, 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 that's it. I'm not I'm not even waiting now. We're just gonna we're just gonna hit. I want it I want it over with. We're not coming back into this. We're batting badly. We're pitching mediocre. Um, this is not our day. Of the days that it could be, this one is not. Hey, look at that. First batter's out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Brilliant. Here's the pitcher. Yeah, I know. Do you want to kill her? No, she's a C-plus pitcher. It's not worth our time. Because, of course, by nobbling her pitcher, or any player for that matter... The, uh, your pitcher takes a big confidence hit and that is not repaired until they start pitching better yeah I can't afford the few good pitchers I have to uh, to be lacking confidence yeah can't allow it there we go Kojak thank you out number three all right bomb of the eighth now it's uh, lingo blend all stars 15 bulldozer power nothing. Here's Kojak Mister on to bring a smile to all our faces. Never mind. Out number one. Oh, she's not. She's safe. Sorry, I looked away. I assumed it was out. Because <laughs> you would. Should we substitute you, Mark? No. Why not? I'm not going to waste any more batters. Any more pitchers. We just Tulip Banter's our next next in rotation uh, reliever, and we'll we'll just leave her where she is. Yep, Mark's fine. I let you strike out. Because otherwise it would be another flipping double play. Here's Cindy Vapid. We've got a runner on first. One out here. Bottom of the eighth. And uh, what's Cindy going to do for us? That's a nice hit. Is it nice enough? Keep running, people. Yeah, it is. It's off the fence. A double from Cindy Vapid. It's what you want to see. She's out. But we did get a run. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button again. It's a day for wrong buttons. Yeah, I know, but we've got a run now. They're taking Incapable out. I'm bringing in Quebec Spire, who's a pretty decent pitcher and used to play for Bulldozer Power. But I never used to play. It doesn't matter. To forget, just... Why do I ever bother with narrative when it's all over in a matter of seconds? And I'm fairly certain the game keeps trying to pop up a little window to say, I think you're playing at too high a difficulty level. And you kind of go, no, I'm playing at the exact right difficulty level. The problem is uh, I'm playing like bottom. Yeah, that's that's the problem. It's nothing wrong with the difficulty level. I'm playing poorly, very poorly. And you have to remember that since the first inning, the score is only 6-1. 
Now, 6-1 is still a pretty significant scoreline, uh, but it is not 15-1. to one. Ominous Bob gave up nine runs. Ominous Bob's career is dead. Completely and utterly dead. No more Ominous Bob, no. Which means I'm down a pitcher in my rotation. Yeah, it does. Failure with an unusual catch. Unusual in that he didn't run away from the ball. Here's Justine Vanderpol. Well, she's only batting two of five today. She must be absolutely disappointed to have only got two singles. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon. Two double. Oh, no, look. Here's her third double of the day coming up. Yeah, she must be disappointed, though, to not have a 100% batting record for the day. Yeah, go on. Have another run. I don't care. I'm past it. I'm over it. Uh, Flapjack, nope. Four of five from his at-bats. Yeah. Because, of course, once their confidence gets locked in, the likelihood that they can continue playing well increases. I've seen it happen to Bulldozer Power on a few occasions. When the confidence comes up, Rudy? No, he, he can't get to that. Yeah, then it, it just becomes a flipping power show. Mark, yeah, yeah, no, that's all right. Never mind. That's another run. Here's Michael Poems. Yeah. You know, if I had a terrible reliever, I could bring him in now and I could just throw at every single one of their players. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, a bit of ballet there from Bernie Crampons. Bernie. Bernie the Ballet Crampons. That's what they call him. There's Jenny J. Sonar. She's had uh, two triples today. No, I'm not making that up. No, we really are playing that terribly. I mean, I'd like to say, oh no, you see, I thought I'd try something different and I've given the controls to someone else. No, no, I haven't. I'm making every mistake I've ever made uh, playing this game, all in the same game at the same time. Why? Why though? But why though? Why? Why would you press the wrong button? You're doing it every time now. That was an easy stop. I didn't do it deliberately. I'm, I'm fed up. I've had enough. I want the game over and flaming done with. And I'm belligerently going to play it through to the bitter end. Because the stats will count. Oh dear, funny chat. Worse still, these clowns are in my division. And, uh, oh crikey. Uh, and therefore, the run difference uh, run up here is going to count when it goes down to any kind of tiebreaker. 20 to 1 now, the score. Well, you, we could score 20 runs in an inning. We could. You think it's likely, though? No, it really isn't. Right, there you go. This is the second out. Here's Dave Caustic. He's four of six from his at-bats today. This is his seventh at-bat. That gives you some idea of how the game's gone. Not quite as much of an idea of how the game's gone as the scoreline, though, which gives you a very good idea of how the game's gone. For those of you not paying attention to the scoreline to avoid spoilers, the answer is... The game's gone incredibly badly. Out number three, and that's all she wrote for the Lingo Blend All-Stars, who have racked up 28 hits and 20 runs. Thank you, Lingo Blend All-Stars, for turning up today, and uh, I hate you. Here's Ulysses' failure. He's going to stand here for a bit. No, he's had enough of standing there, and he gets a base hit. Big whoop. It means nothing. Here's Rudy Capslock. He's had a double today, and I'm not just talking about the two times, he's got all of his teammates out. Sure, swing at that late. Why not? Oh, he's popped that one up beautifully. Well, only if the fielder drops it, which they didn't. Out number one. Here's Zoltan Zoltan. He's 0 for 3 today. Well... Is he going to turn it around for us with a nice big home run? I have to say, I don't think that's going to happen. No, instead, here's a double play. And the side's retired. Oh, no. Bulldozer power lose, you think? Um, we did manage 10 hits eventually. That's all I've got for you. Yeah. That's all I've got. Right, who didn't have hits? Zoltan hit nothing. Crampons hit nothing. 
Only two players didn't manage a hit. Yeah. Let's not look at that too much. Uh, let's instead turn our attention to Ominous Bob's ERA of 81. Yeah. Three strikeouts for Jeff Conservative and another one for Mark Disneyland. Uh, but uh, that was appalling. Your three stars of the day. It's Perry Rage Quit, Jenny J Sonar and Flapjack Nope. Well, it was an absolute travesty there for Bulldozer Power. Let's see what happens in the 11 games that we now get to simulate. First up, we've got uh, Failurewood Hills at the Orb City Axemen, uh, both teams 1 and 2. Uh, the Axemen off to a decent start, but uh, Failurewood Hills running them close. The Axemen, though, securing the win. We've got a minus 19 run difference now. That is the worst in the league. Including the teams who've lost every game. Next up, it's the Erg Melonflex Chroniclers up against the Picks Creek Miners, who are currently 3 0. Quill Dark will be pitching for them, and let me tell you, he's a very bad pitcher. So uh, we'll see how they get on. And uh, well, the Miners have, have run the score up nicely there and maintain their unbeaten streak. Grazer Ridge are taking on Stardozer Human Resources, uh, 1 and 2 versus 2 and 1. Madame Pompadour punt, uh, is pitching for Grazer Ridge to start off with, and uh, they'll be they'll be hoping for something positive. But Stardozer Human Resources are all over them. Uh, a bit of a comeback, but they can't shake off the 10 to 4 final score. Next up, you've got the 0 and 4 Budget Roadies against the uh, 4 and 0 Nomads. I wonder how this one's going to go. One nothing final score. A very one-sided game there, and that takes the Nomads to five wins this season. Here's the Colonel Space Agency against Stardozer Human Resources, and they won that one as well. One to nothing. One to nothing, really. Okay, here are the Steganauts taking on uh, the Red Star Pathfinders. Two and two Steganauts, one and three Pathfinders. The Pathfinders will need this one to keep themselves in contention this season. A nice inning from the Pathfinders brought them back into it. And uh, 13 to 11, the final score. Here's Cheerio Inc. yet to win a game this season up against the Picks Creek Miners. Uh, they're looking at uh, James Strap in, uh, in the pitching chair for the Miners. Uh, and he's obviously not done well there. Cheerio knocking the first win past Picks Creek as uh, they get themselves their first win of the season. The Wretched Minstrels are playing the Axemen. Wretched Minstrels 3-1, and one, Axemen 2-2. Two and two. Uh, The uh, the Axemen get a nice big lead there and they want it. Way to go their team. Sportsball Union are taking on the Bongolia Sea Raiders. Uh, based off the way they've been playing so far this season, you'd have to say that the Sea Raiders have the advantage. But uh, their best two players are carrying some woundedness. Uh, I think it's Polly Babylon and uh, Frida Potassium there. Uh, both under the weather a little bit. And the Union making, making that count. Winning that one 5-2. to two. two games left to play. Colonel School are 0-4. Up against the 4-0 Port Miggins Pirates. Well, how's this one going to go? Colonel School will start in the lead and then throw it away as the Pirates come back to clean house. The Bumps and Medics are taking on the Grunt Auto Group. Grunt have only won one game this season, but then the Bumps and Medics have only won two. So maybe something exciting will happen here. And indeed it does, as the Auto Group secure their second win of the year. Uh, our next game is going to... Why have we got to play them again? It's a divisional game. They've just put two divisional games back-to-back -back against the same people. Oh, it's a disaster. Our next game is going to be against the Lingo Blend All-Stars. Bulldozer Power 2-2 two and two this season. Uh, up against the All-Stars, who are now 4-0. and oh, And uh, pitching for them is Chet Vacant. Remember him? Yeah, Desmond Eyeline is up in our rotation, though. So this could be a proper showdown. Will it be payback for Bulldozer Power? Or will it be another crushing defeat? Uh, let's look at the standings. Ooh, ah, the All-Stars, 4-0. and oh. Bulldozer Power in second place in the Battle Plan Division 2-2. Two and two. The Roadies, 0-4. Oh five don't look to be competitive this season uh elsewhere in fail brigade uh, port megan's pirates five and oh the nomads five and oh in the fish tank division it's incredibly close all three teams with only two wins heading over to bag company in the whoop whoop division you've got the sunshine fun bus leading the way with four wins uh in colonel cam picks creek miners got four wins but they've also got a loss oh 
Zesty have got the Minstrels and Sea Raiders tied for first with three and two. And in the Sloganator, it's the two win Steganauts leading the way. But that is a team full of bad teams. Team, division, division full of bad teams. Very good. We'll see you for the next one. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe to make sure you keep up with the season. And maybe, just maybe, next time we won't suck quite so badly. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.